Joining us now with more, author of the best-selling book, Clinton Cash, Peter Schweitzer. All right, I don't think it's changed. The RNC put out yesterday the $2 billion man talking about the Clintons and a global foundation and paid speaking and foreign business deals, uh, you know, but, and what, the, between Hillary Clinton and, and Bill Clinton, they made, what, $53 million in two years giving speeches for one hour with private jets and presidential suites and the best of the best? Really? Yeah, no, that's right. I mean, huge, a huge amount of money, and, and there's also indications now, of course, that Barack Obama wants to do similar things when he leaves the, the White House. Uh, you know, the Clintons have created this new model, and it's a model that has a lot of implications, Sean. The first one is the obvious one, which is politicians are going to sort of cash in uh, when they leave office or they have access to political power, as the Clintons did when Hillary was Secretary of State and Bill was off doing this. But the second implication is they are forging, the Clintons have forged commercial relationships with people around the world. So you've got oligarchs now in Africa, you've got business executives in Latin America, in India, in Russia, in Europe, who have invested in the Clintons. Uh, figuratively and literally. They have forged a relationship. They have coughed up money when they've been asked to do it. Uh, and they have a very real stake in how this election turns out. That's something new and unique. We had the Bush family in the past that certainly had some of those relationships with George H.W. Bush, the father, but nothing even close to resembling what we have the Clintons. So the world always watches our presidential elections. In this case, you've got a lot of very powerful people around the world yeah. watching this one very closely. You know, I was thinking about Donald Trump. He's probably right. You know, they probably poll tested and focus group to death this this issue of change maker. And all I can think of is, well, after the debt that she and Obama and Biden accumulated and and putting so many people out of the labor force and into poverty and on food stamps, I'm thinking, yeah, the only thing we'll have left is a little spare change that that maybe the crumbs will come tumbling down. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny, Sean. I mean, if you look at her political history, I, I don't really see change-making as defining anything. Um, she has uh, more often been somebody who really hasn't um, done a whole lot. As Secretary of State, there's really not a lot to, to look at at a record uh, other than some serious mistakes and errors in judgment. So it's one of these cases where they're trying to create a brand that doesn't fit the individual at all. It sounds great, but then when you actually attach it to a specific person it's just not a good fit and I think this is the problem you know you saw tonight and you saw the previous night a lot of people come up Barack Obama husband Bill come up and say wonderful things about Hillary Clinton at the end of the day elections are always about the two candidates in this case well said. you remember right. you remember uh, back in 2008 Bill tried to help Hillary in the primary it did not work she's gonna have to win this by herself well said and I agree thank you for being with us